In this video, we will continue our Active Directory skills learning. So let's get started with our lab that we have been using. We're going to click on the P Lab Sandbox 2019. And as we mentioned that because these are sandbox, it does not come with guided uh, documentation. We're going to just click on start. And then we're going to remove the left side or hide it and turn on all these labs. When the lab is turned on, make sure the domain controller is always running because without domain controller, some of these labs will not work. And that's just in any other companies, a domain controller is always running for other machines to work properly. Now let's make the screen to the maximum width by clicking here. So in this lab, we are going to talk about Active Directory tools that are coming from third party vendors or someone created tools to make our job easy. Now to make this lab work, we will create a help desk account and I'm showing this very quickly. You can slow it down and you're going to make this help desk account in Active Directory and then you're going to make it a domain admin. Now the reason for that is to make sure your lab is uh, without any issues and that's how we have been doing it. So you're going to log into Windows 10, click on the key icon and then log in with help desk account. And from here you're going to change some settings for internet so when you click on the internet explorer it's not going to work in the help desk account so of course for that we need to make sure we change the dns just like we did in our previous labs so let's say if you click on the internet it's not going to work and then you're going to go into the internet uh, settings and you're going to create the dns entry you remove the current entry make sure you take a note of that and then change it to 88888 and then once you finish everything, you can come back and change it back. But now you have internet access and now I'm going to go ahead and start the whole lab. So we will type Active Directory free tools and we are going to name this uh, company Netrix. Now remember, we're not getting paid by this type of, uh, you know, companies. Uh, these are companies that are very well known just like Spiceworks and other companies that we use in our career So that's why we use them The reason we want this I'm going to show you we have to agree to this and we may have to Type that back because I think there's some issue with this to not finish. So let's go ahead and go back And type it one more time free active directory tools and then we're going to click on net rigs. okay so we're going to scroll down and this is the one that we need best active directory uh, management tools netrix blog you can type this in google as well and that blog is what we need now you must be wondering why are we using this blog uh, the reason for that is that this is a well-known company. So if I if, even if I have to download softwares or go to some sites, then I know it's sec uh, probably secure because uh, most likely secure because it's coming from a company that is well known in the market. Now, of course, Netflix is going to promote their own products. So as you can see, if you scroll down and when we start looking at tools, then the first tool that they're recommending is what basically they a lot of people use. So. We're not going to be looking into that right now. We're not going to be looking into this Networks Account Lockout Examiner. We're going to come back to this later. I want to first take you to the external tools that are not Networks related. Now, the reason we use Networks or we would like to do more practice on this because this is a well-known company. So remember, in JSS, we do things for business. We want to do things smartly. We, we don't just go to tools and waste hours and hours of energy and not achieve something out of it. We, loud, we like to use tools that are well known so you can then copy this name or then type it on your resume. So remember, every time you do labs, keep that in your mind that why are you doing these labs? So there are got to be two reasons. Either you want to get a job or you want to get experience in your job. Um, if you already have a job, then yes, it makes more sense to go for other tools. But if you are looking for a job, then you want to be using bigger names uh, that is known in the market. So here's another site that we kind of use a lot. Uh, CJW dev this is another one that has been there for a while now now do remember that all of these things most of it you can do it from PowerShell but if you are an entry level professional I we don't go into PowerShell right away because that's gonna be another learning and you're just gonna get confused so that's why we like to use tools that are already pre-built for you to do your job so 
Let's go ahead and practice on this one, Active Directory Info. We're going to click on it. It's going to take us to the website. So the website is pretty basic. It is not even HTTPS. So it's okay because this is a well-known website and you should do this in a demo environment so you're not worried. So here we have this AD Info Active Directory reporting tools, but let's say what else do they have? We're going to click on software and you see there are so many AD tools that you can use. AD Permission Reporter, AD Info, AD Tidy sometimes. You may have a call to clean up Active Directory accounts because there are so many active accounts that uh, you know they're not being used or disabled. So can you run some uh, script or you know do anything to clean up Active Directory? You may be able to come and do this from this one. Uh, the one that uh, we're going to work on is this one, AD Account Reset Tools. This could be maybe given to you, and the company may not even give you an Active Directory access. So they may just give you some kind of rights and this tool to just do things for users. So let's go ahead and download this tool. So you're gonna click on download. We're gonna click on account, that one, right, installer, and we're going to click save. So once you save the account, we're gonna click on open folder, and then we will right click on this uh, zip folder. We'll extract all and then extract, and then run this tool from here. We're going to double click on account reset installer, and then we're going to click on next, next, and then we're going to install and now we're going to run so this is a very quick installation so once this is done you're going to click on finish and then you will click on start now again when you do these practice make sure you remember that the only support you will get is with these devices if the devices are totally not working or the access is not working then you can contact the support from here by clicking here and writing the document uh, ticket but uh, practice lab will not support or JSS team will not support anything you do inside these labs like learning wise. If you want to get some help, you have to follow exact same steps that we're showing you in the video for sandboxes. If you want a labs that has more guided access, then you should go for the premium labs that we offer more dif different labs with 15,000 documentations available over here. Those are supported by the support, uh, but not the sandboxes. Now, before opening the tool, which you can click here and click on account reset tools, you need to make sure you go back to the DNS and change the IP back to the domain controller or else it's not going to work because now locally that tool needs to connect to the Active Directory. And this could be for any tool that you install and practice from Internet. Right now, you see how I went back and, and added that IP address again. So you need to do that or else it's not going to work. So we're going to click on start, click on account reset tool and yes. So now this uh, account reset tool is going to basically look for the domain automatically. As you can see, there's on the top, it says practicelabs.com. If it's not correct, you can click on edit here. But if I scroll down, you see it's already picking help desk and administrator from our Active Directory. So this could be a scenario where let's say uh, Stacy call you that my account needs to be reset and let's say they don't give you an account uh, full or sat tool access they may give you something like this where you can just click on reset and then you're gonna pick let's say help desk and you will type the password and click reset account and and that's it the account is changed you can click on next uh, change password so then Stacy can change their password you can uh, let's say for example somebody call you my account is locked out they may give you a script like this or a tool like this where you just have to have access to this kind of access where you just uncheck and that's it, they're done. So this is what we call a limited access for a lot of uh, entry level professionals when they don't give you too much access to uh, you know products, but they give you something very specific and then you get those calls on daily basis. And usually this type of work is done when you have 5,000, 6,000, 10,000 people calling you left and right for this type of calls people will just hire you for this stuff. But of course, a lot of our pro members don't like to do this kind of work for a long time. They wanna become a proper IT professional, sysadmin, network engineer, IT professional. So of course, you just don't wanna do this checking and that's it, you know, and then you go home. So after this, there's not much to this because you can go and then kind of like play around with the next features over here. Um, and then, you know, my recommendation would be to go back to the website and then install more free tools from that website. Now, for example, I went back to the website and I click on AD Info now. Let's go ahead and download this one too and we can run it. We're just going to download the free version. 
Now remember, every time you want to use internet, you have to go and change that DNS and, and get it back again to the domain controller, which is, I know, it's a little annoying, but we have to do this in this lab. So now we installed this application, and similarly, we're going to go ahead and extract and run this application just like the other one. We're going to double click on it, and then we're going to run it. These are small applications that run, it runs very fast. So if we did the same thing, we go to start and now we have this 80 info free edition available. So let's go ahead and it's going to go ahead and look for the domain uh, users uh, for using your help desk account. That's why we wanted to use a help desk account because we wanted to make sure. So here, uh, the error getting this. So why are, we, why are we getting this error? This is a very classic example. Remember, we cannot get access to a domain if we are not going to put back our domain address back into the uh, DNS. So this is something that's going to annoy you. But again, uh, IT is like that. You, you, if you get annoyed, this means uh, you have uh, less patience and it's not going to work for you because that's what we do. We go back and forth, back and forth to do, do things to make things work. So. Now, if I go back and, and go back to my application and if I, if I run it again, the free edition, and boom, it just in one click, it just went out there uh, and opened that application. Now, this is uh, kind of crucial because if you look at it, this, this comes with a lot of things like all computers. If you double click on it, it's going to open this and then you can run this uh, nice like you know search result. It's going to go out there, look for objects, whichever you want to search. So sometimes people may say, hey, can I, can you give me a, a, a list of uh, computers that is in our Active Directory or uh, the computers that are uh, uh, used in the last 30 days? So for example, this one. And you may see, you may run a report like, why are there are some computers that are not used for, let's say, 30 days? Is there a reason? Uh, there could be a user things too. So you can run reports on the users. So you can see... You can run a report on all the users like that, double click on it, and then you can run the report and it's gonna go out and create all that objects. So if I close this, you see how all of our objects is created right here. So powerful stuff. If you wanna find out group policy objects that are being applied into this uh, company, you can also do this. You see our deleted GPOs are there um, uh, created in the last 30 days. So if you have this type of access, maybe you can run this and find out in the company what they did last 30 days. Or you can run a full group policy report and, and then kind of like see, okay, we got two objects in here, which which is this one and that one. And without going into a group policy management tools, you can find out a lot about your company just by getting this tool if you are allowed to do that. If you're not allowed, then please make sure you contact your managers and uh, and kind of get them, um, you know, tell them what you can do to, to make this job easy because that's how we make our jobs easy. Now, some tools are designed for lockout troubleshootings, which is very common in companies. So in the same uh, link, if you scroll down, there is this uh, tool called Lockout um, uh, right here. So if you look at it, we have some information here. This is the one, Networks Account Lockout Examiner. Now, do remember that I changed my DNS, so I want to download two things quickly. We don't have to do this again and again. So I'm going to click on Networks Account. And then here we're going to put the business email. You can put it any email that you know and click on download. It doesn't require you to go into the email. It will download instantly. So just like that, it's going to download and you can see we can save that. And the next tool I want you to download is to just type on Google account lockout status from Microsoft. So if you type account lockout status download, you're going to get to this link from Microsoft download. And then that's the this, this is what you should get when you scroll down lockout status. So let's go ahead and download that as well. OK, so we're going to click on save and then we're going to go to folder. So while this is both of this is downloaded right now, we're going to go ahead and change it back to the domain controller IP so then we can use these tools. So we're going to go back properties and change this to the domain IP. OK, so this is our domain controller IP address, the DC01. We're going to go ahead and close it. And now we're going to go back to our tools and First, let's run this Networks Account Lockout Examiner. We're going to go ahead and extract and run this. So now this is a portable tool. We're going to run it as admin. And basically, this is how it's going to be. Now, of course, 
some things may not be configured for these type of tools. Um, if you're practicing it, you need to do a little more research. Uh, this is just to show you that tools may be available. So when you open a tool like that, um, it, it, it may look something like this where it just open and then we're going to click yes. So a lot of time companies use these type of tools to do troubleshooting while helping users as well. So here you will accept the agreement and we're going to accept the agreement here. So we're going to use a current account. That's why we are on the help this account. Um, as you can see, it asks you to kind of find out the uh, lockout username. So in a company, when you're working with them, if somebody calls you that their account is locked out and you want to troubleshoot, then is it really locked out or not? You can actually come over here and type, let's say for example, help this is the account that we have right now. And here we can type at practicelabs.com. And when we do a, it's going to go out and try to connect to the domain controller. As you can see, some things may work, may not work depending on what is on in domain controller, but you're going to get results over here. If things are correctly configured, it's going to show that this user is locked out or not. Now, of course, since we don't have any policy set on that domain controller, it may not work. That's fine. You just need to know that this tool exists and you can come over here and kind of like play around with it. See RPC server is unavailable. So figure that out. Go to the main core. This could be your task and, and go and turn these things on. Uh, and that's how you're going to learn. You're going to go to documentation and, and learn from it and see if you can turn this on first as a service and then try to figure this out um, by going back to our previous uh, uh, videos where you can set a lockout policies create those policies a locked account for yourself and then try to see if this user is locked or not the second tool i want to quickly discuss is the one that i downloaded from microsoft so this is the one so we're going to go ahead and run this and we can do the same thing and once you finish it we're going to minimize and go back and basically this tool will show up inside your Let's see if it shows up here or do we need to go find it somewhere? Okay, so it's not here. Uh, let's make sure the name lock up. So we're going to just type lock. So when you don't know something like this, this is a great example because now I kind of did it very quickly and I want to show you something. If you ever forget where you install this tool, you can click here again, next. And you see it's in the C drive program files. This is where it is right now. Windows resources kit tools, right? So I'm going to install. Um, actually, I'm going to click no here and pick the C drive just for you to, to check that I did that here. So it's already in C. You see, you can change that. So I'm going to click on install now just to make sure I was doing it correctly. So now if I go back to the C drive and program file 86, the uh, files are right here windows resources kit tools and this is where is the the tool is i'm going to run it as administrator and run it just like that so now if i come over here and click on select target you can select the user over here that called you and you can run it and it was going to go up against the domain controller and it's going to tell you that is it locked or not how many times this person used a bad password um, and it's going to give you a lot more information. Pa last password was set this time. So this is another way for you to check things. You can reset a password from here. You can open a net log on logs. If you if logging is enabled, you're going to get a lot of logs over here. You can open an event viewer right here. Now, if you do this on a domain controller that has uh, all of these events already turned on, of course, you're going to get more information. But uh, again, they, these are the things that assist admins will be doing most likely if you are a level two person maybe you will do it but a level entry level person may only get uh, something like this where you can just run the tool and then get some basic information and reset the passwords on your machine but this is a great way to find out things again if you want to make this a little more interesting do that process that i told you to just go back here open a group policy change the lockout settings lock an account come back and run it again now we have discussed all of this stuff in our previous videos in group policy and Active Directory how to do this stuff. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope you use these tools and it will be beneficial in uh, definitely enhancing your